Hello everyone and welcome for shredding for a wedding. Today we'll make a spinach vegan lasagna. Yay! I don't know if you can see Jack. There's Jack. <laughs> okay. You'll need zucchini, habaneros for the spice, spinach, it's veggie, it's like minced meat, it's veggie stuff. Need some good tomato, we got tofu, and we got vegan cheese, best friends for the taste, garlic, onion, and of course, tomato. How do we start? First, we will start with the spinach. <laughs> I got your vegan butter, oh that's kind of much, garlic, garlic cloves, Add it later to the, to the spinach. So, we just cook it. Just only a bit. We're gonna find the minced onion and garlic. While the spinach is cooking, we can make... Why not? So you just can have a kind of like a bolognese. First, we're gonna fry the minced meat. Next step. Next, we're gonna use one zucchini with a slicer. You can go fully with a knife if you want to and slice Thin layers. While the minced meat, garlic, and the fake meat is frying, I gonna check the spinach. The spinach looks good. Everything looks fine. And now I gonna add the yummy tomato sauce. You can add paprika, curry, garlic, pepper, and a little bit of salt. Next, we're gonna layer the layers. The first layer will be, of course, zucchini. You can go fully with regular cheese and, of course, minced meat, but I go on a plant I go on a plant-based diet at the moment, so we will see. First layer will be, like I said, the zucchinis. Next layer will be the yummy tomato fake meat sauce, the bo fake bolognese. Now I got it, the follonese. And the next layer will be again some yummy delicious zucchini layers. The next layer will be the delicious spinach. It gives you a really delicious zesty taste. I, I cannot describe it. It's really really delicious. And then we just fill it up with the follonese because it's a fake bolognese. And then you can add a layer of bechamel if you want to or you go with coconut but I had no coconut milk there, so this will be just a regular Follonese. Next layer will be my vegan cheese. I thought this cheese will melt pretty nice, but it's not. You will see it in the end, but it's still really delicious. It's a super, super light lasagna. I really like it and definitely recommend it. That's why I'm making this video and I hope that I get from you pretty soon feedback. How do you like it? We still have a lot. I think one zucchini would be enough, so never mind. It's okay. I just thought it won't be enough. So just beauty. We'll go later. I will first go to sport and then I will put this into the oven on 200 degrees for... I know everything is not rare, so until everything is molten, like 10-15 minutes, we will see. I will give you an update later. See you! So, welcome back! I'm back from sport and I will put this now in the oven on 200 degrees for around about... Let's make 15 minutes and then check it, okay? After 15 minutes, this pretty beauty looks like this. I thought, like I said, the cheese has molten it just a bit, but it's super hot, it's super delicious, super zesty, tangy, so I definitely can recommend this recipe. I hope you like this video. Please let me know in the comment section below what I can turn for you next time into Low Curve. See you next Saturday. Same time, same place. Thank you for watching.